Sir, I have a huge question for you burning in my mind right here. I, I was curious, what, what, what makes a good, a good story? I mean, you've been writing for years and years. I've been reading all of your stuff. What's a good story to you, Mr. Lee? Well, I guess a good story is one in which you care about the characters and you're concerned about whatever trouble they're in and you want to find out how do they get out of it? How will everything be all right? But what I want to know is why am I looking at you and talking to you when I got this pretty girl over here? I thought I was going to be talking to her. I mean, I don't know. Typically, I, I've actually been looking at her the whole time. <laughs> but, hey, isn't she gorgeous? A crystal not that star, you're not great looking. I don't want you to misunderstand I, me. <laughs> not at all. Not at all. But Mr. Lee, I, I have one more, another question for you. So in the zombie apocalypse, if it were to actually occur, which superhero would you want watching your back? Which, uh, I think Iron Man. Iron Man? Yeah. Good choice, Tony Stark. That, well, Tony I, Stark. Don't got tell it. Back. Some people might not know that. I call him Iron Man. You know, I when I first team. wrote it, Tony Stark was his secret identity. Now everybody oh. knows Iron Man now is everybody. Tony Stark. <laughs> I blew his cover. I'm so sorry, Mr. Lee. The secret is out. Knows. So what's in store for the future, Mr. Lee? Uh, what, what, what's, in the, what's in store? I'm excited. Tell me. Tell well, me. the thing that's in store is this interview will end, and I'll be saying, gee, I hope I did okay. I hope I, it was all right. Oh, you I did hope excellent, it Mr. Lee. I came Lee. across it's such a pleasure okay. To I hope you. I looked okay. You know, the usual. Absolutely. Well, you did wonderful, Mr. Lee. Wonderful talking. Take care. Okay, you Larry too. Great talking to you.